Strickland. This man on his way to the ring has got a match at Capital Punishment just two weeks from now, a kendo stick match against Kevin Payne, and that's going to be vicious. Well, vicious is not the word when you come to Eddie Atlas, man. Brutal, mean, downright nasty is how you describe Eddie Atlas. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the man with more definition than Webster's Dictionary, Eddie Atlas! What a great tagline. It's never been truer of a superstar in PCW. Eddie Atlas has done a lot of things here in PCW, and he's going to add the candlestick match to his resume in just two weeks' time. You know, I didn't want to take this time. These fans letting their I opinions know. I wanted to know. take this time and ask all of you a simple question. Do any of you morons have any idea what it feels like to have a kendo stick wrapped around your back or your face? Show them with Rob. No. You can use Rob more. No. So here's a fact for you guys. In Thailand, caning is still a form of capital punishment. Well, that's very appropriate. You want to know why? Do any of you care why? Well, it's real simple. It's because there's nothing better than the sound of bamboo cracking and tearing into the flesh of those who shall receive it. And come capital punishment, there's one man and one man only who will wish he never stuck his nose into my business. You all may know him as Kevin Payne. Cheer all you want. He's not, he's not ready. But I tell you what, Kevin Payne, you have to be the stupidest. Uh-oh, Andy Atlas being interrupted here, and here comes the mind of wrestling, JT LaMotta. As he's lost his mind, you don't interrupt Eddie Atlas on a promo. What a moron. I'm not sure what JT's got in mind here. Does he want to challenge Atlas right here, right now? Let me tell you what, and you got a big mouth also. I think I speak for everybody. Ever since you've been back, you've been attacking people, you've been talking trash to people, and you oh. And now he's going to kick somebody's ass. Well, I don't like the looks of this. Eddie Atlas is going to work here on JT LaMotta and referee Roger Needham running in. And this is going to be an official match here with a big uppercut from Eddie Atlas. Well, the mind of wrestling has just turned incredibly stupid. LaMotta's a competitor, no question about that. Slides under, high flying drop kick, and there goes Atlas reeling against the ropes. And now JT LaMotta with an uppercut and another uppercut. And now he's going for that Irish whip, a reversal by Atlas. And look at this, JT up on top with a crucifix. Into oh. a sunset flip, one, two, and only two. Hey, hey, that's not fair. Eddie wasn't ready to wrestle. Eddie was just out here to, to see, he was just out here to cut a promo. Oh my gosh, what a clothesline there from Atlas. Okay, maybe he was ready to wrestle. Eddie Atlas, that, it, that, that's a prime example. Anybody in PCW, oh. any wrestler had better be ready to wrestle at any time because you just never, never know. Oh, he's just tearing him apart. Putting all his weight into the side of LaMotta's neck there as he lifts the mind of wrestling. Oh! oh. What a, oh, look at this, LaMotta. LaMotta's asking for another one. Standing up to him. He no really has lost that. his mind. And now Atlas coming up with a high knee lift. Turning LaMotta inside out. Capital punishment just a couple weeks away. One, two, and only a two count. Couple weeks from now, Eddie Atlas and Kevin Payne, they're going to meet with a kendo stick on a pole match. <laughs> That's going to be sheer brutality no matter which way you want it. Remember go. the kid that got caught spray painting cars in Thailand? Oh, yeah, Michael Fay was his name. And they, they were going to cane him. Did he ever get caned or did he get sent home? I, I think they did end up getting him a few licks with a cane and then sent him home where he bastard probably deserved it. Where, where his 15 minutes of fame ran out a long time ago. Yeah, you remembered his name. And now one, two, and LaMotta with a foot on the ropes. Boy, LaMotta came out here shooting his mouth off where it was not warranted. 
telling Eddie Atlas, who, by the way, is the uncrowned PCW Heavyweight Champion, according to him. What a huge, huge neck breaker right there. And, of course, Atlas not the only man in PCW making that claim. Mike Fox That's saying right. the exact same thing. And I have a feeling Atlas and Fox are going to settle that at some point down the line. And that but would be great. First and things first, though, Atlas just doing a number here on LaMotta. I tell you what, I, I, I can't wait for that, that Atlas Fox match. But boy, Mike Fox has got bigger fish to fry. Oh, oh my gosh, oh. look at this. Atlas slipping on the ropes and ne nearly tearing the groin. But look, oh, oh my gosh. That's going to affect future children. That probably would have torn it right there as LaMotta goes to work on Atlas. Now he's got him hanging in the ropes, Whoa. hanging there in a tree of woe. And here comes LaMotta out on the apron. Yeah, you know why they call it the tree of woe? Because you get in, a, you're upside down, you're like, whoa. Oh my gosh, did you see that? A double footed stomp. Oh, on look the out, chest. no. Oh, handstand in the Oh, oh my. J.T. LaMotta, as, as he always does, he's been studying types and some of the most vicious ways to beat up a man. He's got them right there. On top with a cover, two, only two. You can't pin Eddie Atlas without hooking a leg. Hell, you can't pin Eddie Atlas as long as he's conscious. And now La LaMotta with a knife edge chop. Going for a whip, but Atlas with a reversal now. And LaMotta with an inverted oh! into a German suplex. That was just it. Good night, JT. And now Atlas with a backbreaker yeah. into a raindrop. Oh. And Atlas has put away many men with that move. Three, and that's it. That's all she wrote, man. JT LaMotta's name goes on the list of men Eddie Ooh. Atlas has beaten. Eddie Atlas. Oh, I tell you what, I hope Kevin Payne was taking notes in the back. I hope he was watching because he is going to inflict just massive amounts of pain upon Kevin Payne and the House of Pain Indeed, in Capital Punishment. In two weeks, that's right, Capital Punishment. That candlestick's stick's going up on a pole. Someone can get it, someone can use it. And fans, we've got more action still to come here on PCW Full.